I wanted to welcome all of you to the East Side Charette. We are here today to consider a new vision for the East Side waterfront. This is an area of the city that is starved for open public space. It's an area that's about to undergo significant change. We've been sealed off from the river for generations by the factories of Con Ed, by the highway, and by the United Nations. And I don't think there's a single man or a woman alive who can remember the last time it was possible to get to the river. This is finally our chance. A lot of us have been talking for a long time about the concept of some kind of a platform on which a park could be placed above East River Drive, running from the United Nations south. But none of us had an idea of what that might look like. So, how do you get that solution? So what we did was approach a group of truly brilliant landscape designers and architects and we ask them if they would come together to spend a day with us imagining what a park might look like and what its elements might be. Being on a terrace looking out of the river is almost as fabulous as being on the water. And so we said, we're gonna brief you and give you all the facts in the morning. And there are three major projects you know that are being discussed. East River Realties Project, a big residential and commercial development. We were hired a few months ago by East River Realty to develop the open space plan for this site. It's over 125,000 square feet and it's being submitted to ULER. The main theme is to ensure east-west connectivities. We're proposing four residential towers on a platform. The platform is raised to an elevation that allows the deck to continue over the FDR drive and one day connect to the river. Secondly, the possible United Nations Tower. Uh, we got the UN building here and they're looking to consolidate their campus and what we've discussed doing is putting uh, UNDC 5 where this square is on Robert Moses Park. Some of the proposed mitigation for that is to build an esplanade along the river. There's this gap in the waterfront greenway on the east side from 38th all the way up to 63rd Street. And at the Parks Department, we view this as a once in a lifetime opportunity to close the gap. Thirdly, the Department of Transportation's discussion of rebuilding East River Drive because of that long and unusual exit ramp that exists there among other things. The highway itself doesn't need to be rehabilitated you know, this year or next. It's something that's a little bit further out on the horizon for us. The simplest alternative for us would be to just redeck the highway. The other basic alternative would be to just move the highway over 30 feet, and this allows the opportunity for bridges or decks over the drive. There, the 42nd Street exit ramp is obviously the key thing. So those are the three basic elements that we wanted to analyze and say, well, considering those three things, how could you imagine a waterfront park taking place? They sketched and they revised their plans based on the input that they got from the community about their various goals and challenges for this area. The community board has suggested that the circulation needs to be continuous along the waterfront. Green was very important. Access to the water was important. And you need to be able to get out to the waterfront at as many streets as you possibly can. Hearing the community talk with such unison about what they wanted, access to open space and greenery along the river, got all six of us to speak with one mind. So what, are the, what are the principles? I'm going to elevate the people call. instead of the How cars. about urban terrace or? Urban terrace? Or I like urban terrace. Urban Elevated terrace. terrace. Yeah. It's about elevating people. Elevate people, not cars. There might be an opportunity with, with what you're creating here to create, to make some kind of dramatic 
countervailing geometry through there that breaks all of this. Well, I just wonder if we could somehow relate these things to some kind of sweeping out gesture that you could probably then set off some tangents that come off here that kind of take you up or down whatever you want. Long ramps, right? You know, as you kind of come out, if, if that space could kind of Expand. open out on the end of 42nd Street. This is Jim's plinth right here, JP, Jim's plinth. Okay. We added on to this plinth, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly what we did. Yeah. It's, what about concentrating the program in, these, in one vertical new structure on the water's edge? Is it just a ferry terminal? Yeah. The, 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 the ferry terminal, Forty Second Street. Yes. Yeah. Right? Exhibition restaurant, ferry terminal. So, so you, you something because your your pier line is out here, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, could, you could do a floating oh, pontoon we building. The pier the the pier, it just goes up and down all the yeah. time. Oh yes, I know what you're talking about. Right. Yes, it's, I love those. Right. Yes. Yes. Love those. That's, that's another Manhattan idea, right? Connection. You know, there. vertical circulation. Like so you've got the idea of a vertical circulation, a ferry terminal, and a restaurant connecting the river to a ferry datum level. Yeah. Exactly yeah. what we need. Yeah. yeah. If, if we're going to do the sweeping curve, I mean, could we actually make a big hill? Like a could, could this, yeah, could this be like it. the elevated terrace rotates around Forested Hill? The Great Hill. What, the what great is hill. the purpose of the Great, great hill. hill? Where everything is decked, everything is, and it gives a kind of a, a, a relief. topographical yeah. context yeah. 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 also to mm -hmm. this terrace. It, it breaks the, uh, the kind of tyranny of the plane. Right, it's a new prospect. That's if, good. A new prospect. There's a key, there's a key, a very key move here, which is Rick's oh, idea of relocating the 42nd Street ramp to, to 41st. To 41st. And then it goes underneath the deck, the underneath the mountain, and, up. and up. Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's another thing that the forest accomplishes. Put that pass under here. I'll squeeze it under there. Now, this is the signature sketch that this group came up with. And now we're going to reveal to you the drawings that have been generated. Today is a perfect example of how you take community board and public participation, work with the realtor, work with the city and state to wage a campaign to actually get it done. Through the years we found out how important the waterfront is and how important it is for us to actually be able to enjoy the water that surrounds Manhattan. So I know we're going to have a great success. Thank you. If we don't factor in the importance of community participation and access to our riverfront, then you know what? We all lose. Everyone loses. Community input is actually having people who are willing to be thoughtful before these things are on top of them, before they're actually happening, before they're a done deal. This neighborhood is for many people the first thing they see when they come to visit New York City. So it's also important to us to create a vision for this area that everyone, when they come to New York, is able to see and is able to remember. Not only is it great that we're getting new open space, but we're getting new open green space. And this is really going to act as a gateway to Manhattan. This process for what this open space will be like, what it'll look like, how it'll function, is one that the community is going to be a full partner in. Thank you, Speaker Quinn. We are at the very beginning of what will surely be a long process before this vision can become a reality. But if we don't take advantage of this opportunity to be bold in our pursuit of open space, it surely will be lost forever. <laughs>